are entering into a very uh, interesting session that is called the uh, evaluation. So, sir, I am sir. So, uh, evaluation is nothing but uh, speakers you have seen, people came and uh, spoke for five to seven minutes. So, now the another set of speakers will come and say how they spoke. That's what evaluation is. This is a uh, uh, special specialty in postmasters where you don't see anywhere in any uh, other places. This is a very interesting uh, uh, thing and uh, so the first speech uh, is given by Narasimhan and uh, overweight Narasimhan speech we have uh, uh, Toastmasters Sai Jyoti Mai and uh, actually what I asked when I asked about uh, summer vacation she said uh, better uh, school, school days or better than the summer vacation it's uh, entirely opposite to what everyone at the speech at least because whenever you, you can I can I understand from her uh, poster itself from the WhatsApp uh, photos you can see always she will be always with friends and uh, uh, people around her so she's more uh, friends and she likes friends uh, better to stay with the friends rather than stay with the parents for two months so, so let us uh, welcome Sajyoti Mai to evaluate Uh, 
what has happened to do a lot of things during summer vacation and uh, last day every year she used to end up with not doing the homework or holiday homework. So uh, let us invite the first master Divya. Good afternoon everyone. Well, don't you see that life is such a surprising thing that all of us, each one of us, maybe it's a small incident of water whatsoever for a small duration, we always stumble upon something which creates an impact in our life. And today we witnessed what impact, didn't we? Response please. So Toastmaster Shankar, let me tell you that uh, your speech, uh, you have demonstrated a speech which purely seemed very inspirational to me. And let me tell you the title that is The Challenging Diversity, The Lotus Plan. Honestly, I felt it was a research topic. But then, as it continued, I understood that yes, this is very inspirational and wow, it was so beautiful. Let me move further. Let me tell you that your eye contact, you were really very good with it. It's quite difficult to cover each and every audience, especially in a large room like this, to cover each audience over here. But you did it with, beautifully with a very good comfort level. Also, let me tell you that your vocal variety, I found that you have an amazing vocal variety. Especially when you were telling about the conversation between the cute little kid and the teacher. So there I could see the sinusoidal wave of your vocal variety. Moving over to your expressions. I also found that you are very expressive, especially during the narration when the uh, teacher and the little kid had. So culminating all these, what I feel is that I see a budding storyteller over here. Um, yeah, like an amazing storyteller. Also, I use beautiful adjectives, especially when you described about the tribal village and about the cute little kid, about his messy hair and everything. So that was something that, you know, without even seeing the slides, I could have, I, I imagined a shabby kid, a strict teacher, a beautiful village. So that was something that I really liked about it. Now, Toastmaster has an annoyingly smart pedagogy that is called the feedbacks. But I would like to say areas of improvement over here. Now see, um, you are a very confident person, that's what I can see, Shafi Toastmaster Shankar. But every each one of us, we tend to forget, and especially when we prepare speeches, we forget some lines. But at this moment, what should we, should we do? Should we just stop over them? Should we not just move ahead? What's the trick there? Because nobody has seen your speech. Nobody has seen what you've written in your paper. So the trick is to continue with the flow. Nobody knows what's written in the paper, right? So that is one thing I would like you to work upon in your further speeches. The next thing I want to talk about the slides, it was really good of you to use the slides, but what I feel is that a better preparation beforehand, maybe with a slide change, you know, maybe telling the essay or maybe the GE to change the slide, would have been, uh, would have maintained the same. So it would have been even beautiful. Now the challenge, which is one of the criteria that I need to say, the challenge to you is, I would like you to give the speech without the slide, because I feel that if the qualities that you have, Shankar, you can beautifully deliver the speech even without the slide because I can imagine the things that you have put without the slide as well. And lastly, I just want to say, Shankar, like a lot of the flower that emerges through so many adversities and it emerges beautifully. Similarly, I want you to emerge like that beautiful flower in your further coming of speeches and all the best.
Sean on his project, Dad versus Uncle. Well, for my easy reference today, I have actually coined the three P's for your collaboration. Plot, people, personal connect. Plot, people, personal story. Okay. So the plot that you chose today was very simple and you kind of get it straight to your audience in the first 30 seconds itself, which was very brilliantly done. So we rightly started with a question first. How many of you here are mentors? How many of you here are mentees? Well, today I'm going to talk about two people. One is my dad, the other is my uncle. So you set everything clearly in the first 30 seconds. So I kind of knew what to expect in your upcoming uh, three to four minutes of your speech. So your plot was very well done, clear and beautifully done. The second thing is the people. Now coming to people, there were two characters that were played throughout in your speech today. One was your dad and one was your Rafi Mama. Two unique, distinctive characters that you portrayed them beautifully in your speech today. Now why do I say that? It's because your dad kind of seemed to be a very strict person, but he was always there for you when you needed the advice. Be it even a very silly thing that you needed, or be it the most important part of a decision making in your life. It, it, we could feel that your dad was almost there with you all through your life in your important decisions to make. Your dad was there with you as well. The other character that was introduced to us was the Ramki Mama. And whenever you say Ramki Mama, I get uh, you know, uh, remembered of my neighbor called Raghavan Mama. Very similar person, very similar character, okay? Always listening to the radio, especially to the cricket news. And he's, he's screaming on this end, hey, four, eight, six, and we'll be like, when will this guy even change, right? So Ramki Mama was a character well established throughout the story that you have today. Two characters, two very distinctive, unique characters that you have. Beautifully done for the people part. The third P is the personal story. The way to reach your audience heart is through a personal story. You knew that and you used it brilliantly in your speech today. The personal story. Be it the English low marks where your dad pitched in, be it the upper b ball story which was known to everyone but the way that you carry it to your audience today in your speech, or be it the Ramki Mama Bonda to Boundary story, everything was brilliantly done in today's storytelling. So your plot, people and personal story came out as the success factors for your speech today. Let's talk about how we could take this very good speech up a few notches to a brilliant speech. One suggestion that I have for you today is what I observe today is the stories that you share today does not really relate to the message or the call that you had for your audience today. In the end you simply said uh, if you're a Toastmaster, top your VP, get a mentor, get a mentee and all of that. None of it actually related to your original stories that you shared today. If you have had one story, be it that story or uh, Ramki Mama's story, and one story with one of your Toastmasters friend, how they became a coach or a mentor, I think the relatability factor could be more. In summary, your three P's stood out today. If you have had your argumentation in place, this is one fabulous story. Topic session, yes, 10 up and use 2 minutes 11 seconds. Yes, Varshani used 1 minute 15 seconds. Toastmaster Mohan Sutram used 53 seconds. Toastmaster Ramesh Murugan used 1 minute 40 seconds. Toastmaster Ramakrishnan Senior used 1 minute 10 seconds. Toastmaster Rohit used 2 minutes 13 seconds. Toastmaster Roni used 2 minutes 10 seconds. Toastmaster Ramakrishnan used 1 minute 5 seconds. Yes, Rohit used 30 seconds. Yes, Aditya used 46 seconds in, uh, and uh, yes, Ayyappan used uh, 35 seconds and yes, uh, Jofin used 1 minute 27 seconds and evaluation session, Toastmaster Jyoti Mayer used uh, 10, 3 minutes 10 seconds, Toastmaster Divya used 3 minutes 19 seconds 
and KTM visualized to use uh, 3 minutes 13 seconds. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's Krishna's speech, coordinating all this, maintaining this 
was uh, really, uh, not so strict in the timing. So, and uh, also that please inform uh, the venue properly to the uh, people, many doesn't really know. And then, especially the guests, when they come from other clubs, please uh, inform them as well. And um, yeah, nowadays uh, I think this became a permanent venue. So in Patal, we are going to other club, you have to inform the people. Thank you.